Shane's staying home today. I am going shopping at a place that I have wanted to go for like two weeks now and just like haven't really had time, but Shane is doing a Zoom and I am leaving while he's doing that and I'm gonna go to the store. So I'm going to rag and bone. Off I go. Hannah just left for the store, which means I have the whole house to myself other than Chloe. I think I'll use my time productively. I'm anybody. I'm working on it. You know, I'm in LA. I have high hopes that someday they might make another remake of The Lion King. And if that day comes, when that day comes, I will be ready. Or like Hakuna Matata. I can play almost any role in that movie. I just saw, why is it so wobbly? Okay, I just saw something I've never seen before. It was a delivery robot. It was like white and yellow and it had two white light eyes and a little flag on top. And I just saw it. It was waiting to cross the street and it started to cross and then the light turned and I guess it was like watching the, the signal and it knew it wouldn't have time to finish crossing. And so it just backed up back onto the sidewalk and like got out of the way. And then it just sat there with its eyes watching the, the light ready to cross. I have never seen one of those in real life in person before. Oh, my camera's slipping, but that was really cool. Also, this is really funny. <laughs> Plummy really likes EJM tissues, like used tissues, which is disgusting, um, and something that she has in common with Hannah. But the minute Hannah left the house, like the door closed, Chloe sprinted off the couch and ran directly to the bathroom. So she kind of like knows that I can't do anything, but I yelled and she stopped. So no tissues were eaten. But I, I realized like seeing that happen, that Every time we leave, she probably runs right to the nearest garbage can. Thankfully, the ones at home all have lids, but this one here does not. But don't worry, I saved the day. All right, no, I am actually being productive. I have a meeting with Sarah now. I already know better. 24K got nothing on me. Make you want it forever. Try to play a game, but you don't play for keeps. Messing with a girl from the Hi, Sarah. Hmm. Didn't know we could have guests on our solo vlogs today. Hi, Shaney. I'm How recording are you? you. Oh, you're recording me. Oh, is yes. this for is this for your uh, your YouTube channel? Do you yeah, have, have you more, heard? Like, do you have like more than ten followers at this point? Have you heard that we have a YouTube channel? Um, I have a couple of people have told me. I still don't understand who's watching that, but. Yeah. This should be this should be your big break. Maybe, is, maybe that's what this will be. Is there any <laughs> is there any song that you'd like to perform or um, that you've been working on? I could do the Star Spangled Banner. For me, you know I wrote the book. I'm moving along from somebody wrong. So go ahead, tell me all the ways you miss it. How you want me back in your bed? I can't choose between wide leg and jogger. I'm whispering because they know I'm alone in here. All right, meeting is over. Very productive. And I love Zoom for allowing, you know, us to work remotely like this. I can be anywhere in the world and do all of the work that I need to do and see all the people I need to see. That, my friends, is accessibility at its finest. I love it. Anyway, media is over. Hannah's still not home. And what time? Is it? She's been gone over an hour, maybe an hour. I don't know. Um, so I have some time to kill now. I wonder what I'll do. Oh, my favorite band. Well, no, one of my favorite bands, Alt J, has a new album that came out last week. And there is a song on that album that I have been listening to 
on repeat, it is called Get Better, and I warn you, it is a sad song. It's about losing a loved one, and the first time I heard it, I was sitting out on the front porch here, and I began to cry, like it was so beautiful. And later that night, I was like, Hannah, you have to listen to this. And so I played it, it was like right before we went to bed. And I began to cry again as, she, as I'm like showing it to her. Uh, so it's that good, in my opinion. Um, and Hannah was like, why would you want a song to make you cry? And I get that, and I don't always want that. But this song, I'm telling you, it is beautiful and heartfelt, and the lyrics are, like, simple, but in a way that, like, rips your heart out and smashes it into a million pieces. That's the style of music I prefer. Rips your heart out, smashes it into a million pieces. May or may not make you sob. Okay, back in the car, I stopped at Joe and the Juice and got this, which I've never had before, so I'm gonna taste test it. Oh my god, it's so good. I got a strawberry, banana, elderflower one, I think. It was called like hell of a, hell of a one or hell of a time or something. Something that was really awkward to order, but oh my god, it's really good. I've never really bought like a juice before. Very LA of me. It just occurred to me, I know Hannah is like out buying pants. I think my video that I'm making here and her video it's going to be very different. Very different days that we're having. I will say that juice cost $8, which I didn't realize that until I was inside, in line, staring at the menu. And so I don't think I will ever, ever, ever buy another one of these. So I'm going to savor this one because $8 seems like a lot for a juice, but that one is very good. A lot of them I didn't think I would like because I'm not really into like ginger and like the kale ones and stuff, but that strawberry one is very good. I'm quite enjoying my little video updates here as the day goes by. I was literally gone for an hour and 15 minutes. Maybe I'll start a new spin-off channel where I just turn my laptop on and talk about whatever comes to mind. No, the world does not need that. No one needs that. How was your Super Bowl, everyone? I know many of you probably didn't even watch, but we did, and we watched it with our friends, Hole and Charisma. Many of you will know them by their YouTube channel, Roll with Hole and Charisma. And uh, they're out here living in LA right now, and they reached out and they're like, let's hang out. And uh, so we've seen them a few times, and they invited us over for the Super Bowl. Lovely time. I've always been a lifelong Rams fan, so. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself now. <laughs> no. Eagles forever and always. For me, you know I wrote the book. I'm moving along from somebody wrong. Shane is texting me, claiming that he is launching his own channel. He's gonna out vlog me. And I think that's pretty funny with him sitting there on his computer. I'm like doing stuff getting juice, getting pants. I will say though, when I was in the actual store, if you'll notice, I didn't like film any B-roll in the store outside of the fitting room. Okay, I have been trying to crop in and hide a tree pollen, a tree, a piece of tree that fell onto my hair that I didn't notice uh, and is in all of these car shots and I've been like cropping it out and it's just becoming annoying and I can't really do it anymore. So I'm just gonna, you're just gonna see the tree. I got it out now, but you're gonna see the tree piece that's in my hair for this drive. So that's what that is. Everyone made fun of her. Oh my God. It's so embarrassing. I didn't film any B-roll because it was pretty empty. Like the only person shopping there was me and like one other person. But there was like a salesperson who was helping me, like was very involved in the process, which was nice and helpful because I like went up to them and I was like, uh, do you have these pants? Cause I'd, I had never been there before. And so they were really helpful, but I feel so awkward filming in person. Like I would have had to explain to her that I have a YouTube channel. Do you mind if I feel like it was just, it would have been a whole thing. So I didn't really film anything. And I know that Shane, if he like went out with a camera would have no problem just like filming anything and everything in public no shame 
So he's right that he probably would out vlog me if uh, he wasn't just sitting at his laptop on a webcam right now. I have a theory and I'm gonna tell you my theory. The quality of my camera on my computer is decent, but not, you know, the like actual camera that we use for YouTube. And I have a theory that the algorithm on YouTube is going to punish this video because of some of the quality of the video. We'll see if that pans out. But if this video has like not our normal amount of views, I told it. And that will at least make me feel a little bit better as our channel sinks slowly into oblivion. Vlogging is way less fun without Shane.